What's going on everyone? Suresh here, 221B Tactical. Today we're going to talk about something that we get a lot of questions about, which is how to room clear or actually enter a room while utilizing the extremity hands-free light system. So um, this product was not meant to replace a weapon mounted light. But as we've said in previous videos, nearly 80% of police departments across the country do not allow weapon mounted lights for their patrol officers. Canine officers sometimes are allowed to, and of course SWAT officers, but nearly 80% of regular patrol road officers are not permitted to have that weapon mounted light. So what you have uh, are officers that have their weapon and have to have a light in their hand uh, similar to this. So a lot of people uh, have sent us videos and testimonials about how they use the hands-free glove light system, uh, but some people have questions about entering a doorway. So here you have a doorway, whether it's a closet you wanna check or you're gonna go into a room and uh, when here uh, you're clearing this, uh, you don't know what's on the other side, it's dark, you don't know where the light switch is, the lights are on right now in this part, but the lights could be out here and you're going into another dark room. So. Typically, if you have the light in your hand like this uh, and you come to the door and you're clearing, you know, there's a subject that's in the building somewhere and you are coming to the door, you have your weapon up, okay, and let's pretend I don't have this here and I'm like this. How would you enter into this door to check? Maybe your partner is in another area, you never know. So here you gotta enter into this doorway. So I have my light here, typically, I'm gonna now reach down, because I want. I don't wanna bring my weapon down. I'm gonna reach down, take the light off of where I want it, and reach down and open this door. And now, as I'm doing this, you see that I'm lighting myself up. I'm illuminating myself. Now, I'm going in, and once I pop this door, now I have to bring the light back up. However, there's a delay in there in doing that. So, in that moment of opening the door up, I might miss something as I bring this up here. Also, as you see, this door is kind of opening by itself. So if I let it go, and now um, the door is opening, I have no control of that door. Or maybe I see something in there and I wanna slam that door shut. Once again, I'm illuminating myself, not what I wanna do. We've seen this on car stops as well, when officers encounter uh, a, sub a driver with a weapon and you see they're talking to the person they're talking to the person and next thing you know they see the person uh display a weapon and what they do is they pull their weapon out their service weapon and what happens is they go to that automatic grip of their weapon and there was a video of a female officer driver pulled a gun and she's holding her light like this and it's illuminating her as she's firing at the suspect in the car who was firing at her. So as she's doing that, she's illuminating herself. She's not illuminating threat. And of course that happens because in training, when you don't have the light in your hand, you're trained to do what? Draw your weapon and bring your hand up like this. You wanna get a good uh, purchase of the weapon, get that good grip. Well, she did just that. From this, she went to this and was now lighting herself up for the suspect to shoot her. So. You don't want to do that in a situation like this either. That is why you put this away and now you have the ability to have your 500 lumen light on your hand. Now, you can keep this full on if you want by pressing the light like this, or you can, if need be, have the pressure switch inside the glove, which helps illuminate the light. You can kind of press against the side of your weapon and illuminate that light. So I'm gonna use that feature in this scenario. So now you come to the same door and what do you do? A little bit of pressure against the light, it's giving against the side of the gun, gives you the illumination. Now you have this hand free to now open this door. And now as you open, you have the light, you have the light, you have the light, you have the light, just checking, okay, clear. If you wanna bring this back in here, you can close it, but you have this hand free. You encounter a suspect, you could slap something down and come up. Once again, this is not intended to replace a weapon mounted light. If you have a weapon mounted light in this situation, you're golden. You can just open that door up and go right in. However, if you're one of the nearly 80% of officers who don't have a weapon mounted light, 
Well, then this is a great option opposed to holding this in your hand in a situation like this, as you see, not working out well, illuminating, uh, your, illuminating your own body up as you go to open this door. I mean, you could point the light at the ground if you want as you open the door, but once again, you're opening the door into darkness. So that's when this comes in handy right here with the 500 lumens. And it is just so useful in a situation like this on car stops, you name it. Handcuffing, think about handcuffing. I mean, we did a separate video on this, but just to touch on it for the people who are asking, you have the, you have the people that when you're handcuffing them, you are typically handcuffing them and you have the light on and you're illuminating them and maybe you have your canine going through your legs, maybe not. And you go to now handcuff them. So what do you typically do? You put this under your arm here, right? And then you go to break your handcuffs out of the case and you go to handcuff them. And if there's a struggle, what happens as you're going to handcuff them? That light is hitting the ground, right? So you wanna make sure, or you know, you see officers doing one of these, um, it, it, all kinds of things, or they just put the light away in general. And now they have no light because they put it away. I don't like that. I always like to have illumination. If the sub, uh, subject gets squirrely, they take off and running. I don't wanna have to now redeploy that light. So here in this situation, you have both hands, you get a good purchase of their hand and get them back in a compromised position. So you have their hand. Now you go and you can pop that case. You can keep this light on the whole time. Now you have two hands to manipulate those handcuffs, work their hand, and you know that you also have light in that situation. You can look at their waistband. If they're reaching for something, you'll be able to immediately see it. You're not gonna have the light away. You're not gonna have the light tucked in under your arm where you know it's gonna hit the ground if there is a struggle, a struggle ensues. So another benefit of the glove light system opposed to a handheld flashlight. Of course, in a handcuffing situation, uh, if you're solo, even if you're not solo, uh, typically in a general handcuffing situation, you're not gonna have your weapon out with your weapon light trained on uh, the suspect uh, if you're just doing a DWI arrest or something like that. Uh, so that is something that you just, it's not an option. Uh, I did a lot of DWI arrests. I never had my weapon out. Uh, I'm, I'm there, I have my backup officer who's standing there typically with a light in their hand. And now I'm handcuffing and I have both hands when I have this light system on. So just wanted to bring that up as a quick point for the benefit in a situation like this. Uh, of the glove light system. Some of you had asked, so I wanted to bring you this video. I hope you enjoy it. Share it with maybe the officers you work with or someone you train with who is uh, up to speed on different training scenarios. Get their insight, comment below. Once again, this is not the end all be all and definitely is not a replacement for a weapon mounted light, but this is a great replacement for this so you can free up both your hands and not have something in your hands. Now you have both hands free to do what you need to do, which ultimately keeps you safer. So I'm gonna put a link to this product uh, and the whole product line below. Um, and if you have any other questions, go ahead and email our sales team, sales at 221btactical.com. And if you have any concerns regarding uh, how this is gonna you know, feel, uh, we have a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. So if you wanna order it, and you wanna try it for 30 days. See how you like it. See if you can get used to it. Most officers say it takes them about a week or so to get used to it, and then they can't go back to holding a light in their hand. So if you're one of the many that do not have the uh, permission or are prohibited from having a weapon-mounted light, something that you could definitely check out, a great tool, a great option. Once again, not the end-all be-all, but a great option for you. So check it out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.